In a small cemetery in rural Guatemala, Augustina Machique comes to visit her husband. In 1988, suspected guerrilla fighters accused him of collaborating with the army. He and 21 other men were massacred. Memories from a civil war that continue to haunt Augustina and her daughter. My eyes might be failing, but my heart still feels. What I want is justice, nothing more. I want someone to be found guilty and to pay for what they did. Augustina is one of a group of widows prepared to testify against a former guerrilla leader accused of the massacre. It wasn't an easy decision. Many of her neighbors supported the guerrillas during the war, and Augustina's family has been warned not to speak out. I don't sleep really well because I live so close to the road. You hear so many things at night. I would like someone to make patrols, to protect us, not just for me, but for all the widows. An estimated 200,000 people were killed during Guatemala's 36-year civil war. Most of the violence was in rural areas. Most of those killed were poor farmers. But campesinos from Augustina's community are not the only ones interested in this case. Guatemala's capital may seem a world away from the rural area where the trial is taking place, but this is where the top political decisions are being made, and this is where the trial is being watched closest. Analysts say this case is historic. It's the first time a former guerrilla leader has been indicted for war crimes. But compared to the genocide trial of former dictator Efrain Rios Montt, this case has its limitations. It's not significant enough to ask why the military are the only ones being prosecuted, because the accused in this trial was only a third-tier guerrilla leader. So while it's a step forward, it's not going to resolve the divisions in Guatemalan society. But for Augustina, her daughter, and dozens of others in their community, this case is a start. A moment when they can truly start to heal. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, Guatemala.